Hello, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. You know who it is already. Normally, it's all smiles and fun, but today we have a very serious topic to talk about. Today, we'll be discussing a bunch of different personality types and traits that a dentist really requires to be successful and also have a good quality of life. You already know about the really high suicide rates in dentistry, and this is why. Today, we're talking about the reasons why dentists have such a high suicide rate. And if you feel like you're not capable of being this kind of person that we're gonna talk about today, I highly encourage you to run away now while you have the chance. By the time you take the DAT and get into dental school and graduate, it's gonna be too late. You're gonna be way too far into debt and you've invested way too much time of your life only to realize that this job isn't for you. So please, without further ado, let's get right into this video. Dentistry is an amazingly rewarding profession, but it's important to recognize that it has its own drawbacks. But hey, at the end of that rainbow awaits you with a great work-life balance, a top 5% salary, and a job guaranteed to give you a life of fulfillment. Sounds great, right? However, I've met many people throughout my journey who wanted to become dentists, got into dental school, and are now practicing dentists. And at that point, it was way too late. So in this video, I will explain what they have told me so you can determine whether you fall into this category before it's too late for you. The first thing that eats away at my colleagues is the level of communication skills you need to do well in this career. This profession requires very strong communication and interpersonal skills. Patients are coming to you scared and anxious and unaware of what's happening to them. They just feel the problem. And the reason they're feeling the problem is because they avoided seeing you for so long because they're scared of you. But this burden rests on your shoulders as a dentist. You have to make that situation okay for your patients to feel comfortable and to accept the treatment that they need. And you have to do this dozens of times a week. Individuals who I've met who have lacked these qualities have found this job simply overwhelming. As a dentist, you're not just responsible for fixing teeth, but also educating patients on the procedures that are not really easily understood by the general population. These are very abstract ideas we are presenting to our patients, which can actually cost them thousands of dollars, especially those preventative issues that need fixing when they don't feel the cavity or feel the periodontal disease, but they still need to get taken care of. I identify as an extrovert and a charismatic individual, yet I'm still learning the subtle intricacies of effective patient communication every day. And that constant need to be on, regardless if I'm feeling good or bad that day, still takes a toll on me. Talking about finances still scares me because I'm just not that comfortable asking a person to spend $10,000 on treatment yet. But by having proficient communication skills, you can establish solid, trustworthy relationships with patients and minimize these future potential problems. So having the ability to connect with patients and build rapport goes such a long way in this profession and will really determine how successful you can be. But hey, go ahead, join this career path because of a desire to be wealthy or from family pressures to be a doctor. Without the ability to effectively communicate, there's a great chance that life could be absolutely miserable for you. Number two, attention to detail. This is an indispensable quality for dentists. As dental professionals who work in the confined space of the oral cavity, we must possess a sharp focus on even the smallest of intricacies. In our daily practice, we work with remarkable precision using sharp objects like drills, needles, and blades. And to even be able to visualize teeth properly, we have to use loops, which are essentially microscopes attached to a pair of glasses. And God forbid you make a slight error of just a few millimeters with that drill. It can make a world of difference between a successful filling and an unexpected need for a costly root canal and crown. Understanding advanced concepts like occlusion and bite patterns has taught me that the smallest subtleties of over time can have significant impacts on our patient's dental health. So we become trained to pay attention to the smallest of details so we can detect dental issues that may not immediately be apparent. And the cosmetic aspect of dentistry is no different. Achieving that perfect shade match for restorations is quite challenging. And even the slightest discrepancy can leave a patient really dissatisfied. Ensuring that a restoration is the right size and shape can make or break a patient's trust in you. Patients are keenly observant to these microscopic details and may request a redo entirely if they feel something is slightly off. 
Just an open contact of half a millimeter between a new porcelain crown and a natural tooth can be incredibly annoying for a patient. And this leads to food traps and future complications, which requires you to do the procedure over again. But guys, these micro level challenges are just part of our daily professional responsibilities as a dentist. Colleagues of mine have opted to choose a different career path entirely, simply because staring at incredibly small objects all day can be absolutely maddening. And if this sounds like something you struggle with, maybe it's possible to reconsider your career as a dentist. Number three. All right, now if your primary motivation for dentistry is to become rich or chase financial success, pursuing a career in dentistry is just not the answer. There's so many different career avenues that offer an easier path to making money. Dentistry is riddled with enormous levels of debt, extensive minimum eight year educational journey, significant stressors on the daily and physical demands. The notion you might have heard of dentists amassing substantial wealth solely just by doing routine procedures like fillings and crowns is a thing of the past. Factors like insurance reimbursements, the rise of dental service organizations, and the market saturation have made it increasingly challenging to generate significant income in this profession. And those who are financially driven always seem to tiptoe on the border of questionable ethical principles, especially when no one is monitoring their actions. And it's those that add fuel to the notion of dentists being shady, up to no good, and ripping people off for unnecessary treatment. Our primary responsibility as healthcare professionals is to safeguard the oral health of our patients without getting sidetracked by financial gain. True professionals in this field view patients not as financial opportunities, but as individuals deserving of compassion and care. And besides, a dentist who truly cares for their patients and upholds the highest ethical standards will always do better in this field. I've seen both sides of the coin having seen high producing private practices and corporate offices. If monetary gain is your primary motivation, as cliche as it sounds, stay away from dentistry. Consider jobs in finance like private equity or big tech companies with better pay structures and benefits with much less upfront investment of time and money. Number four. All right, now this one always seems to be the distinguishing factor between medicine and dentistry. And it simply goes as follows. If you don't like teeth, run away now. Having genuine interest in teeth is an absolute must when considering dentistry as a career. This is kind of a no brainer, but it's really important to consider what you'll be doing on a day to day basis. Before starting on this path, it's crucial to reflect on your why. What are your personal motivations and connections to teeth? Consider how your own teeth have influenced your life and whether you recognize the value of a smile and enhancing someone's quality of life. If you find teeth disgusting or view the mouth as an unpleasant space to work in and you simply can't see yourself overcoming this fear, look away. I will always give you a real unfiltered perspective of my life as a dentist in hopes that you smash that like button so others can see this video and also learn more about dentistry with us. But in reality, teeth are pretty gross. Teeth are moist, sometimes slimy and mushy. Decayed teeth coming in all shades of black and brown, all shapes of sharp and round. Oh, an infection? Infection brings along pus and blood as their body tries to fight it naturally. And as a dentist, you need to possess a unique perspective. You need to be able to appreciate life's natural disease process within teeth and find that excitement and the opportunity to fix these issues in real time. If you're able to look past the initial unpleasantness and perceive the inherent beauty of reversing the disease process, this can be an incredibly attractive profession for you. The ability to transform a person's life in an instant, whether that be relieving pain or restoring their ability to eat, is truly remarkable and can be absolutely life-changing. But if you simply can't get over the idea of being in somebody's mouth all day looking at gross teeth, I strongly urge you to reconsider whether dentistry is the right career choice for you. So if you're considering dentistry as a career, it's important to reflect on these four major points that may indicate it's not the right path for you. Ask yourself the questions on if you're an effective communicator, are you detail oriented? What is your real why for choosing dentistry? And can you get over the inherent unpleasant sights that we see on a daily basis? While these points aren't rigid rules, if you identify with them, I'm advising you to seriously reconsider dentistry as your career choice. There are numerous alternative career paths that can offer a comfortable and fulfilling livelihood with less effort and sacrifice. However, if you have carefully considered these factors and remain determined to pursue dentistry, 
I'm here to support you every step of the way. And if you don't know me, I'm Dr. Rana, a current practicing dentist committed to helping aspiring future dental professionals achieve their dreams and join this wonderful career. As always, thank you for watching. And if you found this information helpful, please give it a thumbs up and follow me on other social media platforms. If you have any other feedback I left out, drop it in the comments below. And stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one.